art and iconography of the Twelve Disciples in five minutes or less. Go! Number one, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter. He was a fisherman and a fisher of man, so he is shown with his net and fish. Sometimes he's wearing an X, either symbolizing the style of cross he was martyred on, or the X increased day. Number two, Bartholomew, may be called Nathaniel if you're going by the Book of John. A lot of art shows him in India, pulling demons out of the king's daughter. More art shows him clutching draped human skin, apparently his own, referencing that he was flayed alive. Though some stories show him as beheaded or crucified upside down. Number three, James the Greater, got a cool nickname from Jesus himself, Son of Thunder. Apparently he yelled a lot. He shows up in the Transformation at Mount Tabor, or in the Gardens of Gethsemane. Medieval artists say he fought in Spain during the Crusades, and he gets to be depicted slaying people a millennia after his death atop a glowing white horse. Number four, James the Less, James the Minor, James the not as cool as the other James, and everyone needs to point it out all the time. His identity is confusing, because there are a whole pile of James in the Bible, and it isn't quite clear which one stuck around. He's seen with a carpenter's saw and fuller's club, and is the patron saint of apothecaries, milliners, dying people, and Uruguay. Number five, John the Evangelist. We covered quite a bit of his iconography in our video about identifying the four evangelists. He's the giant bird. He's often shown as the youngest and in close proximity to Jesus, sometimes even resting his head on his shoulder in a cuddly kind of way. He shows up a lot in depictions of the crucifixion. You can also see him surviving immersion in boiling oil or hanging out with an ailing Mary. Number six, the other evangelist, Matthew. He's symbolized by the winged man holding the book he wrote long after events took place. He is also the patron saint of bankers, security guards, and tax collectors. Number seven, Simon, kind of a big deal Peter, was brother of Andrew and is often identified by keys. For the pearly gates. Fish. He was a fisherman. Roosters. He'll deny he knows Jesus three times before the rooster crows. And the upside down cross, which may or may not have been his own crucifixion, depending on which source you go with. Artists like the scene of him chopping off somebody's ear. Also, if you see a list or painting of all of the popes, he's the first. Number eight, Philip, the brother of Nathaniel. He is depicted with bread because he's in the story where Jesus fed the thousands and is sometimes traveling with his sister or two daughters. In one story in the extended universe of the Bible, he is forced to sacrifice to Mars and then instead kills a dragon with a sword. Note, sword, not lance. The guy who kills dragons with a lance is the more popular George. He is also symbolized by the cross, but isn't everyone? Number nine, Simon the Canaanite. Simon the Zealot. Simon the rather obscure. This guy can be seen carrying a saw. Not coincidentally, he died by being sawed in half, from either top to bottom or from bottom to top with his buddy Jude Thaddeus. Number 10, Jude Thaddeus, symbolized by the boat, poleaxe, club, or medallion. This guy is officially recognized as the patron saint of desperation and lost causes, along with Armenia and the Chicago Police Department. Number 11, Doubting Thomas. If you see 10 disciples freaking out because Jesus just came back from the dead, well, he's missing. The nickname comes from his initial doubt about the resurrection. He is depicted as a young man holding a scroll and is the patron saint of architects. According to some legends, he was the only one to see the Assumption of Mary. Ironically, nobody believed him, but when they checked her tomb, there was only her girdle. So he is often depicted holding her holiest of girdles. He died by accident when a man was trying to shoot a peacock and instead shot Thomas. Side note, don't confuse him with a pile of paintings of the death of St. Thomas Becket. Number 12 is a kind of wild card in art. Traditionally, the Twelfth Apostle was Judas Iscariot. He's shown in some images as giving a kiss to Jesus, a signal for the guards to arrest him, or with 30 pieces of silver, the payment he received for turning him in, or hanging himself. This is the death that artists latched onto for him, although in the Book of Acts, he apparently trips, falls over, and explodes. Long story short, the other apostles picked a new guy, Matthias, patron saint of alcoholics, carpenters, Gary Indiana, Hope, and smallpox. Depending on the church or artist, you could see either. We'll call it a baker's dozen. Thanks for watching. And keep looking up.